all right guys so i'm back here doing a video regarding my two jumping spiders and a and a bark scorpion anyway i'm not gonna do i'm not gonna focus on the bark scorpion i'm gonna focus on the spiders and how we uh, set up this enclosure and just talk about um this project um this is mine and my two daughters project um so uh we have on the left lucas and the one on the right leafy both named by my two daughters um but yeah um yeah let's start with this one um let's see if i can zoom in um they're become more accustomed to my presence and they're uh getting a bit bolder uh, amongst the two this one is the uh, more skittish one but uh yeah i took a i have a I compared the uh, picture of this spider here to uh, pictures online and uh, video and apparently um, it looks like it's a uh, Plexippus peculi, uh, a species uh, found in Asia but got introduced in the United States. Um, but as far as I can, I've read is uh, it's not considered as like a, like a, a invasive species in terms of causing uh, damage to uh, the ecosystem, but more of also they're interacting both of them. But anyways, uh, let's focus with this uh, on the left. So, according to what I've read, it actually helps with pests. So it's not like uh, a detrimental species um, that got introduced here. Um, I think it's a female. And okay, I'm not 100%. It's a Plexippus peculi. Again, I just in compared the uh, pictures to what I've seen online. Um, but apparently this one seems like uh, a female because of the two white spots on its abdomen the male uh, in the pictures has a more prominent ventral stripe from the head to the thorax um, I got this on September 11th in our backyard amongst my plant in the among my amongst my plants in our patio um, so anyway uh, at the time I watched a video by uh, tarantula cat and a lady who has a lot of reptiles but into jumping spiders and uh and i said why don't i go outside and try to find one and i did i caught it and initially i don't have these enclosures these acrylic enclosures here i have another one of this where i put um basically it's just uh this one is also the same cocoa choir 70 percent cocoa choir and 30 percent perlite i use this for some of my plants um so it, it drains well it holds moisture humidity and then I put a Sabrina plant. It's an inch plant. It has different names. Another is Wandering Jew. Uh, I forgot. Uh, it's Transdenia, something like that. Sabrina. So I'll just call it a Sabrina plant. And uh, I was surprised because it, uh, it kind of, it didn't die off um, after I put it in there. And still, you can see the, these plants are doing good. So even in, uh, it's known to be a good house plant because it can live in low light conditions. Anyway, it's been in there for like two weeks and then i bought a this is actually the second this is the first anyway um this is the second one that we'll be building and it will appear uh i'll show you i'll show a quick video on how we built this but um i just transferred her here and uh yeah so it, so far it's been doing good um and i would drop roach what do you call this uh, red runners Turkestan red runners in here and I think it ate them because I don't see any afterwards uh, even when it was still in Delica uh, another thing I found that was quite interesting is that it built a uh, sort of a nest in here let's see if I can get closer there so yeah so we already built a nest like it in here like this and it would stay in there uh, hide there during uh when it get yeah when it start to get dark getting dark and uh at night it would be in there so really cool um and yeah so i would spray some water maybe every other day or not every other day but about twice a week that's what i'll be doing twice a week um and uh yeah my daughters and i we decorated with some twigs but so far, um, yeah, um, it's more skittish compared to the one on the right, which we'll be talking about later on. But I think I can get a better, better shot here. All right. 
so there you go so the plexipus peculi which my uh, eldest daughter uh, named uh, Lucas so but she's a female I think she's a female all right moving on to the second one for the second spider let me see if I can get a good close-up here um, I think it's pretty common here in Texas um, it's called uh, Phidippus Aldax and there's a lot of literature about this uh, guy in uh, YouTube uh, in online in Google in YouTube um, I think the Rantola cat has one and um, I caught this on the 22nd so today's the 29th so seven days ago and uh, yeah at the time I haven't received this second um, enclosure and I already have this one so um, the initial plan was when this enclosure arrived I will place uh, the spider in here in this enclosure but uh, since this one is already in the deli cup. I decided to uh, put him in here first because at the time this is the only enclosure, enclosure that I have prepared. And uh, basically it felt at home afterwards. It actually, if you can see here at the front of the acrylic, it already built its uh, like a, a hammock like that one, the, uh, uh, the one on the left already did. But since it's on the front, uh, when we, my daughter decided to read there, De decorate this um, uh, enclosure it broke but then after a couple of days it built another one which is a lot better um, here so another of its uh, nest or something where it literally it will go in there at uh, at night uh, during when yeah when it starts getting dark it, it will go in there so uh, yeah this guy is really nice um, yeah Sorry if I keep zooming because I'm trying to find a very, very good um, uh, angle. Anyway, this one apparently is a male uh, because it has blue fangs. Um, the female has more reddish fangs according to a lot of what I've read and watched. So I, I assume it's a, uh, it's a, it's a male. Um, let me see if I can take a good shot of... So yeah, I, I think you can see the other one and they're trying to, uh, there you go. See there, maybe some territorial disputes over here. <laughs> but um, anyway, um, I'm also gonna show you a video of my first encounter with this species uh, a year ago when we moved into this house. Yeah, I, I guess it's like all August of last year. Uh, we moved into our new house and uh, first time I saw uh, the biggest jumping spider uh, in my life. Now. In Philippines, there are a lot of jumping spiders, but not as big as that one. And in this video, um, in this uh, video that I'll be adding, you will see how big it is. I and and I released it. Oh, there you can see the blue fans there. Yeah, and I released it in our backyard. And what's really um, uh, cool about it is it seems like it was uh, curious about me because it kind of stopped and looked at me and I did a quick zoom and I saw its eyes so they say these uh, choppy spiders are smart and I'm starting to believe that because especially this one here in this enclosure um, it kind of like uh, grew accustomed to uh, to my presence and as the days gone by it is less skittish than ever and uh, yeah it's it's really cool um i'm loving uh this setup um so when i was watching the rent to look at she was she has really nice enclosures um and i saw the brand name i think uh Taranto La cribs uh search it online but uh, they're expensive like 50 dollars to uh uh 60 dollars and uh i mean they're they're nice there's no uh dispute about that it's just too expensive for me now this one's here i found in amazon um, only $20 um, and they are like four by four by eight inches I think yeah I think eight, is it eight inches but yeah I think it's four by four by eight inches and the acrylic is really nice the brand is beta beta Zoor. okay and there's a lot of other brands and they have good um, good really good uh, reviews however this is what I chose because of uh, of this uh, area of 
these holes here um, so since they are spiders they will be building webs and more likely they'll be building webs on the on the front glass or front ac acrylic door and I'd rather not break or damage those uh, um, those uh, webs so I'd rather have a way I, I want a way to be able to drop food uh, in there without disturbing uh, their their habitat and uh, beta sewer so far is the only one that has this um, um, holes um, the thing is I won't recommend this for bigger um, bigger tarantulas or bigger spiders um, in here because definitely um, it will be easier for them to push it I don't think these uh, um, jumping spiders can uh, push it off um, but yeah um, I'll show a quick video after this introduction on how we built it but right now I really like the value of these enclosures it's really crystal clear of course acrylic can be scratched so be careful about that but uh, it's easy to build um, it took like two minutes for me to build one and it's got this sorry for my hands it's dry because of uh, too much uh, hand sanitizer at work but anyways um, it's kept in place by these rubber bands um, right there there's rubber bands to keep it in place it's secure so once you build it it it's very sturdy there's no wiggle or I don't feel any weak side of course again this is just for smaller animals I mean just jumping spiders maybe a bark scorpion but that's it uh, don't try to put anything uh, bigger than that um, and just uh, to let you know again uh, this is uh, this substrate is 70% uh, coco choir 30% perlite I bought a big bag of this from our nursery it's used for plants it's very good it has very good drainage um, but it also holds moisture and uh, so far these zebrina plants these inch plants they all, that's other name i say i guess these inch plants are doing really well um in here because of the humidity um it has uh, this enclosure has these slits here and i it's small enough uh a jumping spider won't fit in here um yeah I'll look, look at that this guy here let's see let's see he's curious and you can see the metallic blue fangs and there, from what I know, these spiders are are actually sorry. These spiders are actually um, diurnal, so they're active during the day. And I've been observing them, uh, and they are they've been they're fun to watch. They they really are active during the day. So let's see if I can do a better zoom here. There. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Here. So yeah, it's been like been like that the whole day so yeah um that's just a quick introduction about these spiders i'm enjoying it i'll be doing updates um and oh yeah i'll be adding a few videos about um so this one this one here i haven't actually seen it hunt or actually uh, stalk prey um amazing there you go yeah i haven't really seen it uh, stalk its prey uh really that much but this guy I'll, I'll show you guys a video a couple of videos of uh, it uh, hunting and uh, uh, stalking prey all right and yeah that's it um and then the next video will be a quick video about our um, about our setup and how we built it and